In this video, I'm going to walk through the step-by-step -step process to install Ubuntu onto a Macintosh. In this case, it's going to be a 2007 iMac, but you could also do this on older hardware like a MacBook Air. So anything that doesn't support the newer versions of Mac OS. All right, let's get started. First thing first, grab a USB stick and another computer, or even this computer, to begin the process. You are going to want to open up your browser and head out to Ubuntu. Once you're on that site, go ahead and select the download links. And of course, there's a lot of different download links. If you have older hardware, you may want to get an older version. But uh, in this case, let's just go for the desktop version. Long-term support is what LTS means. The first number is the year it was released. So this one is actually from April of 2020. Go ahead and download. Fairly straightforward here. Nothing too crazy. All right, while that's downloading, open up a new tab. And the software we're gonna to use to actually take the uh, ISO and put it onto the flash card is uh, Belina Etcher. So head out there, select your operating system and download Belina Etcher. To make things easy, I've already got all this set up. So I now have the um, Ubuntu ISO. I've got my flash card in my computer. I have Belina Etcher up and running. It's going to ask you, where is the ISO file or basically the file from uh, Ubuntu's website. And then you just press the big old flash button. Fairly straightforward. Oop, looks like there's a steam sale going on too, which is nice. All right. Uh, now, sometimes it'll fail at the start, but just tell it to go again. Uh, and it normally fails at the end, strangely enough, because it like unmounts your uh, USB stick. So it might throw a little layer there, but no big deal. We're gonna go ahead and fast forward here through the setup process. And this is probably gonna take you anywhere from five to 10 minutes. Once it is completed of writing it to the USB stick, it makes it bootable, validates it, and you can see here it automatically ejects it, so whatever. Now, go ahead and plug it in. All right. Turn on your computer. Hold down the Option key. This is gonna get you into the boot menu. Keep holding, keep holding, keep holding. Hold it all the way until the uh, options show up on the screen. You should have your current install and then of course the USB drive. Select that, press enter, and boom, it'll start to boot into Ubuntu. All right, no joke. From this point, you just keep heading next, next, and next. This will format your hard drive, install Ubuntu, and it's fairly straightforward setup process. Cool thing is, uh, it will also tell you when to remove the USB stick. So you just remove that when it tells you to, and you're good to go. Nothing too crazy here. Um, just, uh, just come back after about, I think I accelerated this, but 15 minutes or so. This one just has a regular hard drive in it. So after about 15 minutes, you're good to go. Okay, the last step of setting up your Linux operating system is to go through the App Store, install everything, right? The most modern software and applications are there and available for Ubuntu. That is a cool thing with how far Linux has come in the last few years. But you also get access to open source free software, free documentation, free movie editing, uh, free software upgrades. It's all about the free. So I usually keep at least one Linux machine hanging around the house. Hope you enjoyed it. Like it if you did, or tell me if you didn't. Thanks much.